I'm Susan Price. I'm a program manager at SQL Server in the database engine where I work on data warehousing. And I've been working on a very special project that we codenamed Apollo. And today I'm here to tell you about Apollo because I think it's really cool. Apollo can accelerate your data warehouse queries, sometimes by orders of magnitude. And we designed Apollo to speed up star joins and queries that filter and aggregate large amounts of data. Now, other queries may benefit, too, from Apollo, but it's those star join queries and queries that require scanning and aggregating data in huge tables. That's where you're really going to see Apollo shine. And what that means is that you can have a more interactive experience with your data, because now you'll be able to get answers almost as fast as you can think of the questions. Now, at this point, you're probably wondering, so what is Apollo? How does it work? Well, the feature that's most noticeable is the column store index. The column store index stores and compresses your data differently from the other types of indexes in SQL Server that are based on B trees. So a column store index organizes the data by storing all the data in a column together instead of organizing it so that all the data in a row is stored together. And what that means is that you can get much better compression because you can exploit the similarity of data within a column as opposed to the similarity of data within a row. Now it also means that you can access the data for each column separately. So you don't have to waste I.O. pulling data in that's never going to be used by a query. Typical data warehouse queries only touch 10 to 15 percent of the columns in a big fact table. So think about that. That's 85 to 90 percent of your I.O. that can be saved just from that one thing alone. But Apollo is more than just column store indexes. It's also a new query execution mode that we call batch mode processing that works with column store indexes to process the data much more efficiently. Now I like to compare query processing to building a car. You can build a car one car at a time you know, constantly picking up different tools, switching to different tasks. Or you can build a car in a factory where you have a machine that does the same operation over and over again on hundreds of thousands of cars using these highly streamlined processes. Well, batch mode processing is like a factory. It has highly efficient algorithms that have been designed for modern hardware. And we process data as a, in a batch at a time as opposed to a row at a time fashion. Now Apollo is easy to use. As the user, all you have to do is to create a column store index. It's a non-clustered index, meaning that it's a secondary copy of your data. You'll also have a heap or a clustered index as well. And you just use the familiar create index syntax. So it's create, non-clustered, column store, index, and then the name of the index, on, the name of your table, and then in the parentheses you'll put a list of columns that you want to be in that column store index. Now typically you'll put all the columns of your big fact table into a column store index. And then you're going to let SQL Server take care of the rest. So the query optimizer will decide when to use the column store index versus when to use another type of index. The column store index will be persisted on disk for you and SQL Server will take care of fetching data into memory as needed. So in summary, um, Apollo provides you with a column store index, a new query processing mode, and the end result is that your data warehouse queries are really going to fly. Now you're also going to find, in addition to this really fast query performance, that you may be able to get rid of your summary tables, uh, you may not have to build indexed views, you might not even need OLAP cubes. Uh, you also might find that you can get rid of some of your other non-clustered indexes. And all that's going to save you a lot of time with managing your database and manually tuning your queries. Now, as you can see, I think Apollo is one of the coolest things to ever happen to SQL Server. I think it's really exciting. And I think if you try it, you'll agree with me once you see it in action. So. Go download CTP3 at microsoft.com slash Denali. Give it a try and then send us your feedback. Thanks.